Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to show you how to automate another test case from register account functionality, which is the sixth test case, guys, that, are, that we are going to automate, okay? So what is this test case all about? We need to register an account when no option is selected for newsletter field, okay? While you're creating an account, you need to select no newsletter option and then create the account. Okay, and after creating the account in the expected results, okay, in the expected result, this much is enough. In the expected result, you should see the no option is selected after the account gets created. Okay, whatever the account you created here with the help of this test case, after the account gets created, also in that one of the page accounts, account related page, you should see this no option is is in selected state. That is a verification point. Okay, so. This will be almost similar to the previous test case, guys. Okay, that I have demonstrated in the demonstrate automating in the previous session. So in the same in the sec, in this uh, in this session also the similar type of test case is coming where I need to first open the application URL, open the my account drop menu, then click on the register option, then enter all the details, then click on no radio option, then click on the continue button. Okay, while creating the account, I am selecting the no newsletter option, then clicking on continue, continue, and then finally. No expect results are required here. I'll just remove them. It's not required. Finally, I keep on clicking on the continue button. And finally, I'll see. Once I click on the subscribe, unsubscribe to newsletter option, I'll be taken to I'll be taken to newsletter page. In that newsletter page, I should be seeing there will be two radio buttons available on that particular page. Yes, I know. In that no radio button need to be displayed in this uh, uh, no radio button need to be displayed in selected state. Okay. So since I created the account by selecting no as a no, say, by saying no to the subscription of the newsletter. So after creating the account also in that particular newsletter page, I should see the for that particular account, no option should be seen as selected. Okay, that's the main intention of this particular test case. Guys. So let's get started with automating this particular test case. So I'll just go to the Eclipse ID guys and the Eclipse ID. I'm just going to create a new class. RF underscore. 006 okay tc underscore rf underscore 006 and uh, i'll just not create any method here i'll create a method with my own uh, my required test case related relevant name that is public wide verify registering account by saying no to newsletter okay like this i'll just give a proper name okay you can give your own way of naming the method is fine for you. This is the way I name the method. Coming to you, you can name the method in your own terms. Okay, that's fine. And here I'll convert this method into a test and test method so that I can run because main method is not there. Without main method, if I want to run some code, that particular method need to be converted to test and test method. And that is possible by adding at the rate test annotation. You see the moment I added at the rate test, I'm getting the runner and debug options because of the test and plugin that got installed in this Eclipse ID editor. Okay. So all these things I already covered in the previous uh, uh, previous sessions, uh, practical demonstration of the automation scripts, guys. Okay, uh, of the different test cases. So here, let me write the code. That is, uh, first I'll write web driver. Driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Okay, I'll run the script in the Chrome browser. One of the browser I am taking that is Chrome browser. I am running the scripts over the mouse and import this. I cannot find any import option. You already know that I have to press Control Shift and O keys together. Control Shift and O keys together and you press so that web driver will be automatically imported from Selenium library and Chrome driver class also will be imported from the Selenium library. After that, I'll just have to maximize the browser window. Driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. This will maximize the browser window. Okay, this will maximize the browser window. Once the browser got maximized, then I want to set some timeout global wait timeout okay for global wait timeout i have to say driver dot manage dot timeout dot uh, implicitly wait then i have to say duration dot off seconds then give three seconds here put a semicolon here then say driver dot get provide the application page url guys provide the application page url uh that is uh here i need to write down okay Tutorial sinja.com slash demo application URL. Copy this URL and paste into the get command. Once I open this application page URL and then I need to click on the my account drop menu. Okay, here my account and uh, control F double forward flash span text is equal to use the XPath expression and you see that the my account drop menu has been selected. Copy this driver dot find element by dot XPath give the XPath expression and say dot click 
and say dot click. Once you click on that, my account drop menu will be highlighted and uh, these options will be coming in that I need to select the register option so that I'll be taken to the, I'll be navigated to the register page. To select the register option, to select the register option, I have to inspect the register option and here take this link text. This is uh, anchor tags. In between the anchor tags, if you see some text, that means it's a link text locator. Copy this and here write down driver.find element by dot link text. Provide the link text locator and then say dot click so that the register option will get selected. Guys. The register option will get selected because of this. Once the register option gets selected, guys, okay, I'll be taken to the register page. In the register page, I need to enter all the fields. Okay, but uh, here we need to select the no radio button while creating the account. Okay, while creating the account as part of, of as per as per this particular test case, I need to select the no radio button and then create the account. Okay, by saying no to the newsletter, we have to create the account. Okay, simple. First, I'll inspect the first name field. <coughs> this is ID. Driver dot find element by dot ID. Provide the ID locator and say dot any case. I'll give my first name as my first name that is Arun. Then I'll go back here. Arun will be typed here, entered here by the automation script. Inspect this and uh, copy this ID locator of the last name field. Copy that and write down driver.find element by dot ID. Provide the ID locator of the last name field. Again, say dot send keys. And here give, I'll give my last name here. Okay. So that my last name will be typed into the last name field in the application. Okay. Then I need to enter the email address every time I create an account a brand new email address should be entered here because if I try to create an account uh, with the email address for which account already exists in this application, then I'm going to get a warning message saying uh, an account already existing with this email address will come. So it's better that I, I generate a brand new email address every time and enter that email address here. To generate the brand new email address, guys, a simple technique is create a method that is public wide, public wide, okay, public wide, generate, email brand new email otherwise brand new email okay like this create a method guys okay in this method you need to write some code from java guys that you, that means you need to create an object for the date class date is one of the predefined classes in java you need to create an object for the date class import this date class from java.util package okay once you imported this date class from java.util package now use this object reference date and convert this date into string type to string you have to say and this date will be converted to string type and the return type will be string, string, date string, I'll say, date string, the date which got converted into the string format. Why I converted the date into the string format? So that I can perform string related operations. Using this object reference, I can call some string related, string predefined class related methods. One of such kind of method is replace all method. Okay, date string dot replace all, replace all method. So using this replace all method in this date string, whatever the, uh, whatever the spaces are there. I don't want to my email address to have the spaces. So wherever the spaces will come, I want to replace them. So with the empty string, so double backward slash S or you can also give space also. That's enough. That's also fine. But I'll put double for backward slash S and uh, whenever that space comes in the date string, I need to replace with empty string. So that means spaces will be removed. Okay. So here string, date string without without spaces okay will be resultant now using this date string without spaces i'll simply say dot replace all method again replace all and here in this date string when i print if i print this date string guys i'll get uh, not only spaces but also columns so i also have to replace the columns wherever they come double backward slash uh, colon and i'll just replace that with empty string put a semicolon here string date string without without spaces and colons is equal to, okay? Now, without spaces and colons, dash string. So after that, without spaces, without colons, and I need to up append this particular dash string with uh, at the rate gmail.com, okay? I just need to provide this with at the rate gmail.com. And here string, string, okay, string, I need to return, uh, string, this is uh, email, right? Uh, brand new email, brand new email will be created like this. And that one, that brand new email, I have to return. Okay, if you want, you can reduce this number of lines of code, but I'll keep it like this for now. So the return type is string type. So whenever you call this method, a brand new email address will be created and 
return back to the calling state uh, kind of thing. Okay, here inspect this email field and here ID is there. Copy the ID of that email field and say driver dot find element by dot ID. Provide the ID locator and uh, put dot send keys. And in the send keys, I need to enter the email address. So I'll just uh, call this method so that a brand new email address will be entered into the field. Okay, once that is done. Once a brand new email address, assume that uh, some brand new email address is getting entered here. Okay. So I'm also giving a brand new email address manually here. But here in the in the place of this brand new email address, a email address with a timestamp, which which is definitely is going to new because at least seconds will change, right? So inspect this uh, telephone field and uh, ID of the telephone field has come. Come back here and write down the code that is driver dot find element by dot uh, ID, provide the ID locator of the Telephone dot send keys and give the telephone number here. That is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. You see, guys, uh, the things may be repeating, but you know, the more repetition you do, right? Uh, well, while practicing Selenium using this uh, sessions and all, the more confidence you will get. Okay, that is the reason. Uh, even though things are re repeating, this is what happens in real time, guys. Okay, in real time, also same thing, right? You will get a set of test cases. Automating the first test case will be difficult, but uh, later on test cases will be easy only, okay? So let's continue with that, okay? Simple. As if you are, believe that as if you are automating a real application in your uh, one of the project and uh, this is your project that you are working, or a period of time will convert this into framework and all those stuff, okay? Let's automate good number of test cases after that will go there, okay? So fine, then right click here, inspect password field and uh, copy this ID of the password field and uh, Driver dot find element by dot id provide the id locator of the password field and simply say dot send keys say dot send keys and here give the value as one two three four five okay so one two three four five will be entered into the password field inspect this and once i inspect this copy this id locator of the password confirm field this is a password confirm field driver dot find element by dot id provide the id locator of the password confirm field dot send keys dot send keys and here give one two three four five give one two three four five okay give one two three four five as a password confirm thing once that is done once that is done okay i need to select the no radio button here inspect that and uh, value is equal to zero name is called newsletter copy this uh control f double slash input at the rate name is equal to newsletter at the rate value is equal to zero Okay, so then uh, this no radio button has been uh, located here with the help of this XPath expression. Copy that and here write down driver dot find element by dot uh, XPath. Provide the XPath expression and say dot provide the XPath expression and say dot click. Once you select that, uh, okay, then select this privacy policy field, inspect this uh, and here name agree driver dot find element by dot name provide the name locator and say dot click and say dot click so this privacy policy will be selected inspect this continue copy this control f double slash input at the rate value is equal to continue okay copy this copy this xpath expression and simply write down driver dot find element by dot xpath provide the xpath expression of the continue button and say dot click dot click once you click on this continue button the account should get created and again i need to click on this next continue button as per the test case steps okay it is a link text locator so simply write down driver dot find element by dot link text by dot link text provide the link text locator and say dot click so here continue button will be clicked. Once the continue button is clicked, I need to select this uh, uh, link for that to happen. Copy this link and simply write down, which is a link text actually, it is between the anchor tags. So write down, I copied the text between the tags, driver dot. I copied the text between the anchor tags by dot link text, I have to say, provide the link text locator and say dot click. Once I dot say dot click, the link will be clicked and you will be taken to the newsletter page. We need to verify whether you are on the newsletter page after clicking on that link. Okay, whether we have to check whether we are on the newsletter page. Assert dot assert true. Okay, here put import this assert from TextNG library and then assert true is there. 
here it requires a boolean value so here i'll inspect this newsletter and uh, create an xpath expression to locate that newsletter breadcrumb copy this breadcrumb class control f double slash ul at the rate class is equal to it should be good with xpath expressions guys the most powerful one in the locator types is xpath expression so if you are able to create xpath expressions on the fly you can locate almost all elements on the web page okay if that doesn't have id name or you know class name or link text directly you can go with xpath expressions later okay slash double backward uh, double forward slash a text is equal to you see all these are the concepts of xpath expression text function and all those stuff okay you should have the idea about and then write down newsletter whether you are on the newsletter page or not i'm confirming if this newsletter breadcrumb is coming i would like to confirm that you are on the newsletter page so for making that happen right uh, to uh, whether i'm on the newsletter page or not i'm just writing this assertion writing driver dot find element by dot x path of that uh, newsletter breadcrumb and simply say dot e is displayed okay if that newsletter breadcrumb is displayed means i am on the newsletter page okay that's what i want to prove here the next here I, am, I have used is displayed command the next thing that i have to verify on the newsletter page is that i need to see whether this no radio button is in selected state okay because while creating the account i selected no i say no for the newsletter so here also after creating the account also no should be in enable state selected state otherwise okay no should be in selected state okay inspect that no radio button here this is a html code of the no radio button new name newsletter value is equal to zero input tag name is there copy this name attribute value and create an xpath expression double slash input at the rate name is equal to newsletter okay name is equal to newsletter at the rate value is equal to give that value as zero give that value as zero guys okay create the xpath expression you see this no radio button is getting located with the help of this xpath expression now copy this xpath expression and here also do the same thing asset dot asset true you write down asset true here and say driver dot find element by dot xpath here in the xpath expression i'll give the xpath uh, I'll give, I'll paste xpath expression of that no radio button and simply say dot e selected. Uh, when once I say e selected, right, the no uh, no radio button is will be in selected state here. Okay, uh, if it is in selected state, this particular test will pass. Okay, that's what is our motto of the automating the automation script. You see how these automation scripts are going to uh, test uh, test the functionalities, repeated functionalities that I have to test on each and every. Uh, version of the application they are taking care and you know this is what is the regulation to suit i am that i'm automating the six test case i'm automating for now just click on save all and uh, then if you run the script uh, if the test passes then we are good to go okay just click on this run that's also is another way of running the scripts let's see whether this particular automation script will pass the test or fail the test that is six test case okay no radio button you know yeah it's got passed as we expected so this is how we need to write the automation code for several test cases, guys, okay? So this is the sixth, sixth test case we have automated. Slowly, guys, when we go to new test cases, we'll get different challenges, okay? Some test cases, you know, may look similar, but uh, there may be some situations where we'll go to some test cases will, which will raise you some challenges, okay? We don't know from where the challenges will come. It happens naturally. So some test cases will look easy. Some test cases will look repeated, but some test cases will be challenging. So make sure that, you there uh, you be there with me until i automate all the 500 plus test cases so that you'll get utmost confidence okay in automating test cases because different variety of okay automation scripts will be covered here not only that guys we are going to automate several type of applications so a lot of confidence levels you'll you are going to gain in the upcoming sessions okay so for this session i have successfully shown you how to automate the sixth test case from the register account functionality okay now in the next session i'm going to show you how to automate the seventh test case okay so till then Thank you. Bye-bye.